Hello everybody, it's Michelle, and it is January 1st of 2013, and I'm so pumped. I just got onto Goodreads to check um, what I had done in December, because um, I didn't know if I was going to mention it in this video, and I think I'm not, because it was pretty lame when I did. <laughs> but um, I saw that the 2013 reading challenge widget was up, and I was like, yay! So my goal for 2013 is going to be 50 books, which for me is pretty big. Um, and I hope to surpass it, but I want to at least meet 50 books. So we'll see how I do. Um, every month I'm going to pick a few books to read. I know lots of people do this, so it's not like it's a surprise. Um, but I wanted to briefly talk about what happened in December, although I'm not really going to show you what happened because... Um, I read a lot of books, but I only finished two. Um, I finished The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, and I did a review, so if you want to check that out, um, you know, look at that from on my channel. Then also, um, I just finished Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger, and it, it was so good. <laughs> and I do plan on doing a review of that, um, at the very least a review on Goodreads, but I might also do a video. I haven't decided. But um, I definitely recommend that you guys go out and get it. Uh, it comes out uh, in February of 2013. So, um, yeah, really excellent book. I loved it. I probably would give it four stars. Um, and then I'm in the middle of A Game of Thrones still, but I've reserved that to my bedtime book, which is like the book that I read before I go to bed, um, unless something else is catching my attention at the moment. And the other book that I started that I still haven't really made a lot of um, progress on is Dark World by Zach Bagans. And I really should just get that done like this week because it's really short, but I got so caught up in those other books that I just failed to finish it. And since it's not really fiction, I don't always have this urge to finish nonfiction. So yeah. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you about what I'm going to be reading in January, so without further ado, um, the very first book that I'm about to read, I'm going to go to a coffee shop, write some reviews, and then start reading, is The Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. This should not be a surprise. I know I'm fairly new, but I've mentioned this in almost every video I've done because I loved uh, The Daughter of Smoke and Bone. It was fantastic, probably one of my favorite books of all time. And now this is the sequel, The Days of Blood and Starlight. So I'm really excited to see what happens with Karu and Akiva and everybody. I loved the characters. I've heard so many awesome things about this book. And yeah, I just can't wait to see how everything moves ahead. So yeah, Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. The next book that I will be reading, in no particular order I suppose, is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I'm pretty sure everybody and their brother has read this book by now. But I have not, so I received this for my birthday in October, and it is a signed copy, so I'm very proud of that. Um, my best friend Amanda Pearl Two Books got this for me. And I thought I should read it soon, because I know Scarlet comes out in February, so um, I thought I might as well get a leg up. So Cinder by Marissa Meyer will be on my list as well. Then the next one is Frostbite, which is the second book in the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. And I'm really excited to read this because the Vampire Academy was one of the books that completely threw me off. I, I tend to judge books by their cover, not in, in, in like its entirety. I give books a chance. Hi, Fusa. Come here. You can sit here. No, okay. You go away. I'm doing a book review. Every time I try to make this video, he shows up, so I'm just going to let him show up this time. Um, but I read uh, The Vampire Academy, the very first book, and I hated the cover. I was really, really um, wary to start it in general because I'm over vampires. I really am. And uh, it's going to take a lot for someone to convince me to read a vampire book from now on. Well, I was convinced, so I read it, and it was fantastic. I can't wait to see how this series continues. I did receive the whole series for Christmas from Amanda Pearl 2 Books, and I intend on finishing it. I heard that this book is good but kind of slow, and that the third book is amazing. But this seems like a typical read. It's 325 pages, regular-sized book, so this shouldn't take too long. But Frostbite by Rochelle Mead. And next... This is part of something that Amanda Pearl Two Books and I will be doing together. 
um, throughout, throughout the whole year, actually. Every month we're going to choose one book and we're going to read it together and we're calling it the BFF Book Club. So the book that we've chosen for January is The Blessed and this is by Tanya Hurley. First of all, the cover is just gorgeous. I love this cover. It's so haunting but beautiful. It's very America's Next Top Model. Do you remember Anya? Totally looks like Anya. And it's beautiful in a lot of respects. Um, visually speaking, you know, the inside is just gorgeous and then the cover if you take it off and do this, you get that, which is also very beautiful. Kind of creepy, though, because it's very Dia de los Muertos um, without the sugar skull part. Kind of freaks me out like she's dead or something. Anyway, <laughs> um, I saw this when it first came out, and I thought, whoa, because the cover, of course, just took me by surprise. Um, but I read the back, and it sounded so cool, but I guess I just wasn't, you know, I had other books on my mind, so I didn't purchase it, but I did just get this for Christmas, so, um, yeah, we're going to read this for January, and then at the end of January, hopefully we're going to be doing a book discussion about The Blessed, so if you want to read it along with us, then knock yourselves out. Very excited. Now, if I read anything else, it will be just because I decided to pick it up, and it'll probably be short, but... For now, this is my January TBRs. I have Cinder by Marissa Myers, The Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor, Frostbite by Rochelle Mead, and The Blessed by Tanya Hurley. So pumped! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to my favorite coffee shop and review some books and start reading. Love you guys. Bye.